Hey, what's happening, Rangers? I'm K-Wing, and welcome back to another Oh, Rangers! Aya! Legacy War Showcase here on K-Wing's Let's Plays. And today we're looking at a brand new Ranger that has never appeared outside of the tabletop universe. And I'm, of course, talking about the newest Ranger to join the Legacy Wars cast, Hunk! I, I, I mean, uh, Jack D. Thomas from Power Rangers Hyper Force. The tabletop RPG based on Time Force, Time Force, Power Rangers, except Hyper Force. So there he is, uh, Bulk from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers turned into a Power Ranger, uh, but it's not Bulk. So Jack, this no-nonsense wise Time Force officer turned Power Ranger is still in top form. Experienced, reliable, and supportive, the newly formed Hyper Force Rangers often look for two Jack for guidance. So there you go. He's kind of like uh, Zordon slash Hunk, uh, you know, big powerful ranger, and uh, he's kind of old too. So I'm amazed he can fit in his spandex there. So let's check out some of his taunts. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that one. That shows that this is a very like brawler type character. And whoop, sorry, my tablet is kind of fritzing on me a little bit there. Must be loading something. Let's uh, check that out again. That is very Hunk-like. I like that. He's like, don't mess with me, it's hammer time. Oh man. All right, so there we go. We've got uh, Bulky here, and uh, we're gonna go into training and mess around. Thanks again to Enway, Lionsgate, and Hasbro uh, for providing access to this brand new character from Power Rangers Hyperforce. And I'm kind of interesting, interested to see how his moveset will translate into a video game because this is his first ever physical appearance uh, before you had to use your imagination about Bulky here to see how he would, you know, fight and stuff like that. So he's got like this ram ability, ram rush. He's a very like uh, powerful character, like very like uh, I'm going to beat you down type guy like Bulk. Because Bulk did start as a bully, so that looked like it was a, a shield thing. And I can't help with the comparisons between Voltron and uh, Power Rangers right now with Bulk here because he is pretty much the same size as Hunk. Hunk was also like a very beefy character and, you know, he liked his food. And uh, this Jack character uh, has appeared in the Time Force universe, but, you know, he became a ranger or something and he's kind of like the old man of the group. So they're relying on his experience and all that other stuff. It's hammer time! Okay, that is cool. All right, sorry, Robo Knight, I didn't mean to do that. And we're going to use the ram again, along with Bighorn. And uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. So uh, the wife isn't here, it's just me. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy this uh, Power Ranger showcase. And if you guys could explain to me more about Power Rangers Hyper Force in the comment section below, that would be great. I'm not one who can watch uh, tabletop RPGs, it's just I find it very boring. Um, I'm a video gamer, not a tabletop person. I never have been, never gotten a Dungeons & Dragon or any of those other uh, quote role-playing games or whatever you want to call them. Not to diss on anyone, but I, I just personally think they're kind of stupid. I can't. Sometimes, you know, gamers can't go from being uh, console to tabletop. It's, it's not really the same thing. They're, they used to be, back in the 80s, they were separate things. You didn't have a dude who played video games and also did D&D. &D. That was super rare. Uh, just like, usually you didn't have somebody who watched anime and be a gamer. It's kind of bled in over the years. But um, first impressions of this character, I like him so far. I think that he's pretty cool. And uh, if I was the actor who played the uh, Jack character from Hyperforce, I'd be pretty ecstatic because he's not uh, a martial artist in real life, so he can't really do these moves. And his character's never appeared in like an actual physical form. So the fact that a Hyperforce Ranger of all characters have appeared in the game, they don't really have any movesets to uh, play off on. This is all Enway and Hasbro's creation, and I think it's pretty awesome. So I hope to see like Peter's uh, Red Ranger in this, along with uh, some other characters. 
and uh, if I could pick like certain rangers, I would definitely want the um, red dragon shield Jason in this. Uh, I would want uh, more of the characters that are appearing in Beyond the Grid. If you guys haven't checked out the Boom Studios finale of Power Rangers, you should totally get it. It's an amazing comic. I was very surprised and like on the edge of my seat the entire time. And also the Hyperforce Rangers show up. Uh, they fight in the final battle against Lord Draken and his forces. And, uh, of course, David here, or what, whatever it is. We're just going to end up calling him Bulk because he's Bulk anyway. I mean, he's bulky. Uh, it's kind of interesting that they made his Hyperforce character also pretty bulky. Because usually when Rangers transform, they're all about the same size. So, I like that. I like that they went kind of the Voltron route. Although, in Super Sentai, there is a Yellow Ranger that is really um, bulked out. So it's kind of cool that they've uh, brought that over into the American Power Rangers. Um, one bad mamma jamma. And you're going away. And I never really used the uh, Kimmy Cubs, uh, whatchamacallit, I can't even think what they're called anymore, assists. I've been up for two days straight, so uh, sorry, not sorry. Had to uh, work on a lot of games for uh, clients and stuff like that. Also made my first ever review in four years, and that took 17 hours, so I'm kind of coming off that. But um, I'm pretty happy to look at this character. I want to see more of the Hyperforce cast, because I know they have a, a female Black Ranger who's like a cyborg or something. That would be kind of fun. Uh, but I would definitely like to see Rocky as a Zeo character and Adam as either Zeo or Turbo. Doesn't really matter. Or Carlos. Carlos would be fun. But I mean, I believe too, if I'm not mistaken, that uh, Peter, who is the uh, brother of Yoshi, made the designs for Power Rangers Hyper Force. So I mean, that's kind of cool. And now we're going to check out the assist character. And uh, just a reminder, as always, when the characters release, there will be a uh, live stream on the following Sunday if you want to challenge uh, this character. He's probably not going to be all that difficult to buy either because he's not a legendary, he's an epic. So I would say you're probably going to end up spending about 20 bucks for him, like tops. Oh, nope, sorry, that's not happening. Let's try... There we go. That time it worked. Alright, I like the assist. Has a nice knockback to it. Nope. Denied Billy. Okay, I really need to figure out how to do that. I like his ram attacks. I, I like that this is a powerful character. And you just feel it, you know? Every move that this dude makes is like, whoa. He's pretty, pretty awesome there. Alright. Take that. And uh, we're gonna try the... Whoops. Try the crush ability again. Nope. Ah, why do you got to be like that? Yeah, so I mean, I don't really know much about this guy at all. Um, I, you know, I would uh, love to learn about him if you guys could, uh, you know, drop some insights. I actually went to some ranger forum sites and tried to ask people about uh, Bulky here as a Power Ranger. Uh, maybe I didn't explain it enough. But uh, there's really not a lot of information. Everybody's like, go and watch the tabletop Hyperforce thing. And it's like, if I recall, they're like three hours for each episode. It's like, no. I caught some episodes real quick. And it was just kind of like, yeah, not my thing. But I think that these guys should get like their own TV show or something like that. Not live action, mind you. I think Hyperforce should get like a second season as... Uh, an animation. I don't know at, who at Hasbro or, or I would have to talk to to try to like give them that idea. Because now that I've seen this character in the flesh, uh, I think this team would translate really well into like probably like a, a anime style or like a, a mini show. You know, like maybe five to ten minute episodes or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Like, uh, a Shattered Grid thing, but from the Hyperforce Rangers perspective. 
You never know, Hasbro might do it. Hasbro actually makes a lot of uh, shows that are um, shorter in length now on, I believe it's Hasbro's website or something like that. Feels so bad beating up Trini, I'm sorry. Bulk versus Trini. Uh, good times. It's hammer time! Boom! That is fun. I love how they call it hammer time. That's just like a nice little reference to uh, my generation. Oh, man. And uh, actually, I was going to say, they need to make Skull a Power Ranger, but in the world of the coinless, uh, Skull was actually a coinless uh, ranger for Lord Draken. He was a red ranger and a double agent. I believe he died fighting uh, Lord Draken or something like that. Or he was being tortured or something. And uh, it's very fitting that I'm using the Time Force Rangers because this character, Jack, was a originally a Time Force person. And the Hyper Force is like an offshoot of the Time Force Rangers. It's like, I don't know, probably another branch of them or something. But they, these guys have different powers. They have animal powers, if I'm not mistaken. All right, there we go. So that is the Yellow Hyper Force Ranger in action. The Epic Defender. And uh, he's pretty cool. In the comment section below, tell me what you think of Jack D. Thomas. And if you're going to be picking up this character uh, when he comes out, thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I will be doing a live stream of Jack uh, when he releases. So may the power protect you. Until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. Thanks for watching.